Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about aestheticism. So let's come to the first slide. If you are watching my channel first time, you are visiting my channel first time, let me tell you uh, we bring every day a literature, a literature class for you at 7.30. So at 7.30 p.m. you can visit this channel for uh, uh, for discussing a topic and to increase your knowledge of literature. So aestheticism. Aestheticism uh, was a movement which happened in late 18, uh, 1800s or you can say it was Victorian era. We all know that 1800s, late 1800s, it was time of Victorian era. And uh, if we talk about particularly aestheticism, it was a reaction to Victorian era works, poetry, novel and other things. What was the motive of or uh, ideal of Victorian age uh, literature? It was didactic, means the work was just on basis of didactic values. If a work has didactic value, then it was good. If it doesn't have didactic value, uh, it's not a good work, according to Victorian age. I try to simplify every topic so that you can understand uh, the work better or uh, the topic better. Now what did aesthetic people did? So aestheticism was about the beauty and the holistic experience. So aestheticism just the work by the beauty and the holistic experience of a work. Their motto was art for art's sake. You must have heard this motto. So they brought this motto, art for art's sake. Aestheticism influenced all sphere of literature and other arts like sculpture, paintings, architecture, music and literature. We will talk about the influence or aestheticism in literature in detail now. Aestheticism in literature. So first work, uh, first uh, writer is Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde wrote uh, many works, Importance of Being Earnest in 1895, The Ballad of Reading Gold, 1898, Poems, 1881, and The Picture of Dorian Gray. It got published in 80, uh, 1891. And here, this is very important uh, novel, novel related to aestheticism by Oscar Wilde. And in this novel, there is a term, Faustian. So this uh, term is related to this novel, the picture of Dorian Gray. So what is Faustian term? An individual sacrifices. Uh, Faustian is an individual or a, a person who sacrifices moral values for material gains. So that person is called Faustian. So you, if you want to remember this for a long time, you can find out a person who doesn't have moral values in his life, uh, who seeks for materialistic things all the time, you can make that connection with that person. Second was Walter Horatian Peter. Essayist and philosopher, he was essayist and philosopher. 1873, his first collection of essays titled The Renaissance Studies in Art and Poetry. The title of the essay was The Renaissance Studies in Art and Poetry. And he laid foundation of aesthetic ideals through this essay. So it is very important. His novel got published in 1885 and Marius the Epicurean. What is Epicurean? Okay, let me tell you first a stoic, stoic person or a stoicism. A stoic person is the person who is leading a life by a strict code of morals. So if you have a strict, uh, a strict code of morals in your life, uh, you are a stoic person and this is called stoicism. And if we, that is, Epicurean is opposite to stoicism. He believes in materialistic life is trying to achieve pleasure. So his focus point is pleasure and his goal is pleasure uh, through materialistic uh, lifestyle. But here stoicism, uh, the person is leading life by a strict code of morals. So hopefully Stoicism and Epicurean, both the words are clear to you. Algonon 
Charles Swinburne. So Swinburne is again the important writer of uh, aestheticism. He was a poet and novelist. 1866, his uh, poems and ballads got published. And uh, these works were controversial works uh, and uh, he talked about taboo things uh, in Victorian era. Uh, he talked about homosexuality here, full of sexuality uh, his works were so it was controversial work at that point of time. Poems from his collection, this collection, ye jo collection tha, usse kuch poems hai, important poems. Sapphic, the triumph of time and the garden of uh, first form. So these are the works and these poems are from this collection. Influence of aestheticism. Pre-Raphaelite movement, we have studied this in detail. If you haven't watched this video, you can uh, check out channel. Symbolist, in next, uh, next videos I will discuss. And movement of decadence. So all three were influenced by aestheticism and its idol. For notes and courses, you can WhatsApp me on 740928756. And uh, if you are buying any course or notes from, uh, for, uh, from us, if you feel difficulty in any topic i create such videos some of the videos you watch on channel are uh, for the students uh, request and if uh, they are studying with our courses and notes if they find difficulty we create videos like this so if you are joining and if you are uh, in need to need of notes and uh, you are preparing for a ugc net or pgt pgt english uh, you can uh, contact me on my whatsapp number see you tomorrow at 7 30 pm sharp daily for english literature class bye bye take care